today's honey was cooking is something very really special. Uh, it is a biryani. Uh, at the end of the day, we are a biryani nation. This is daily biryani. And uh, quite honestly, I am following a recipe from uh, the internet. The best thing that I liked about this biryani is that it has green chili achar. Now, why I say that this is the best thing? By default, I eat my biryani with achar. So I was quite thrilled when I found a biryani which had green chili achar in the dump. So you can imagine the uh, great flavor and aroma that you get from all the achar spices and especially the achar oil. So I'll talk you through the ingredients. It is a long list, but we'll do it in portions. So there will be a marinade to the chicken, there will be a boil to the rice, which is usual. There will be the frying of the chicken, making the curry, and then we will be doing the overall dump, which is a simmer for the biryani. So, daily ki daily biryani, just me hari mirch ka achar hai. Daily daily biryani, which has green chili achar. So obviously we will be using rice. I have. Four cups of sailor rice that is soaked, pre-soaked for about two hours. You could use basmati. That would be lesser uh, amount of time for soaking between 20 to 25 to 30 minutes, whatever the quality that you have. I'll start off with the marinade for the chicken. I've got a kilogram of chicken to which I'm going to add two tablespoons each of ginger and garlic paste. Two tablespoons of red chili powder. Now to the red chili powder, I've added a quarter teaspoon of orange color. The way I've learned this biryani to be, it is served on uh, marriages, happy occasions, festivities, and the meat is generally a bit tinged towards orange, so that's where the orange color comes in. We will be using four tablespoons of yogurt a teaspoonful or salt to taste and that will be the marinade. For the boil of the rice, we will be using a couple of garam masalas, whole garam masalas. I've got a stick of about two inches cinnamon. I've got 10 to 12 black peppercorns. I've got one star anise. I've got eight to 10 small green cardamom. I've got one black cardamom. I've got about eight cloves. I have five or maybe seven small bay leaves and I'm going to use two and a half to three tablespoons of uh, salt in my boil. Uh, a couple of green chilies, four to five, suit your taste. And uh, so, I will also watch you through the chicken curry when we do get to that stage, I'll talk about it again. So we will be using, of course, the marinated chicken. We will be using ginger garlic paste. We will be using flowers of uh, ginger and green chili. We will be using a spice mix of two tablespoons coriander, one tablespoon cumin, and two tablespoons salt. When we make the chicken curry, I'll also be using a cupful of yogurt. I have it in the refrigerator. I don't have it outside right now but we will be using the yogurt, about a cupful, and some whole garam masala, one small bay leaf, two green cardamom, a couple of black paprikas, six to eight, a very small stick of cinnamon, one black cardamom, and I will throw in a couple of cloves as well. For the marinade, I've shifted the chicken into a bigger bowl so that we can mix good. In goes the four tablespoons of yogurt, the red chili powder and the orange food coloring, a teaspoonful of salt, if I can get it out, the ginger and the garlic, and now it's a matter of mixing. So mix the marinade yogurt, ginger garlic, red chilies, orange color, salt to the chicken and this is going to marinate for about half an hour if not 40 minutes 
and as you can see it's already bright and orange and that's the color of Degi food and this is something that I've learned looking at a couple of videos and reading people's reviews. So this is going to sit into the fridge for half an hour. So while the chicken marinates, uh, I have one sliced onion that I'm going to brown. The fried onion doesn't have much role in the cooking of this biryani. If you want, you can use it as a garnish. It's actually the onion flavor infused oil that we are going to fry the chicken in. Um, even the garnish for the brown onion is optional, but surely you can use the brown onion for any other curry, any other purpose. So it's not that it's going to get wasted at all. Uh, but we are going to use the onion infused oil for cooking our chicken once it's marinated. So as I explained earlier, coriander, salt and uh, cumin seeds have been ground finally into a very fragrant spice mix and we are going to use this to cook our chicken. So I browned one small sliced onion in two cooking spoons of uh, oil. I've taken out the onion. The chicken has now marinated for good 30 minutes. I'm going to add the chicken to this onion infused oil. Chicken into the pan, slivered ginger and garlic. You could add ginger and garlic before adding the chicken. And then I've got ginger and garlic. I'm sorry, I was talking about green chilies and ginger. And now I've got ginger and garlic paste. In goes the ginger and garlic paste. I will let it cook for a few minutes. And then we will add the rest of the ingredients. It has been cooking in the onion infused oil with the ginger garlic, sorry, with the ginger garlic paste and the ginger and green chili sliver. Uh, there's already a very good aroma coming out of the chicken. You can pretty much get the green chilies and the ginger. I'm now going to add the spice mix, coriander, salt, and uh, cumin seeds. There we go. So the chicken has been cooking for a few minutes with all the aromatic spices. Now is the time for the 350 grams of yogurt. So the chicken has now been cooking for a good 25 minutes. Let's give it a check. One thing I can tell you for sure, it does smell very nice. Remember the spice mix that we made out of soft coriander and cumin? You can get that very well. As you can see, the yogurt has incorporated very well with the chicken. There's not much or any excessive moisture. At this point of time, I would add some whole garam masala, which is essentially what I'm using over here, is a small stick of cinnamon, one small bay leaf, one bari elaichi, two small elaichis, three cloves, and about eight black peppercorns. And this is pretty much it. While this gets simmered for the last final few minutes, I will get on with the boil for the rice. So with the chicken curry simmering in the last few minutes, I've got the water for the boil on the stove, about three liters uh, in a roomy pan, and in goes the bay leaf, black cardamom, cloves, star anise, salt, cinnamon, green cardamom, and black peppercorn. And a couple of green chilies, I'm using three. These are the larger ones, they don't have much heat to them, but then again, they have a very good aroma. The water is now on a rapid boil. That's the time when the rice go in. Remember, sailor rice have been soaking in for about a good two hours. If you can do more, that's even better. And the other thing with sailor rice is that you let them boil more. All the rice is now into the pot of boiling hot water with all the spices. I think I just said let the rice boil more, but more I actually went, uh, meant longer. Sela rice takes longer to cook. So with the rice nicely boiled and done, our curry in a very nice consistency, not very runny, not very thick, smells beautiful. Our mirchonga char, some oil that I will use for drizzle, and some 
orange food coloring and kevra water. I usually start layering the biryani with taking a drizzle uh, of the oil from the curry and uh, coating the biryani cooking dish in it. I'm using an aluminum foil dish. If you want to use a cooking pot, that, that's fine too. And I will layer the rice at the bottom, one layer. One nice layer of rice at the base of the cooking pan. And I will now add the chicken with the curry and uh, prepare for the other layering. So with the chicken curry now layered, we will move on to the top layer. And remember, before we put everything on the simmer, the best part is yet to come, which is adding of the achar. Finally, the achar. And now a couple of final formalities for the biryani before it goes for the dump. Now remember folks, it doesn't have the traditional spices. So you will not be getting the flavor or the taste or the aroma of uh, mace and nutmeg. There are no tomatoes in it. And please don't even be looking for potatoes or dried plums. Remember, the star ingredient over here is the green chili achar. About two tablespoons of kava water for that very formal shadi-like smell and eventually a generous drizzle of oil. And on goes a foil cover. We will be baking the biryani at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. In goes biryani at 350 Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes. So the biryani has been cooking in the oven for 40 minutes at 350. We started at 30 minutes, but then we extended the time to 40 minutes. And now let's give it a quick check. It smells good. Steam is good. There we go. It looks good. So here we are folks. Daily Wali Degi Biryani with the star ingredient being the green chili achar.